All right, welcome to Smoke Your Proof Korea. I'm your boy, Journalist. And on this one, we are here to check out BTS Cypher Medley. This is featuring Supreme Boy. Uh, this is live at Seoul 2017. This is English Subs. Shout out to Enjoy More. Uh, in, enjoy BTS More. Jesus, I can't read right now. But uh, yeah, you guys have been asking me to do this one like pretty early days of me checking out uh, BTS and that. But kind of have like a roadmap and I'm kind of trying to stick to it we have deviated slightly but we are still working through those projects currently that we say we we're going to work on so we're kind of still on path you guys keep asking for this one so i figured it's, it's one we can get out of the way so thank you guys very much for joining me if you could please hit that like subscribe patreon and all that let's get into this and see what we got super ball get back to the cypher that's a crazy section that nine 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 that's nice, it's nice. I go rhyme, the more like the night, the eye, the bottom of one to it. Should I lie or don't I play the boy? You took a trick with sight for a song. The pole break up, I'm more bold. The mind is what? No one now, I'm not a major. Keep his green in the chair. Well, I'm rapper close to no. Come put my gold to go. They better make a one hand of gossip. I did wipe it with the bubbles. Also, no. Come put my gold to go. What does this mean? What bubbles are we wiping? And. How did we get wet in the first place? Who's pouring shit on me that I need to wipe it away? I'm so confused by this line. That's facts, though. Say whatever the fuck you want. Fuck these folks. <laughs> this nigga. If you're sick... Of jealous, I'm supposed to be probably sick or jealous. So if you're sick or jealous, go to the hospital. Two week recovery. <laughs> Two weeks. This nigga say, "Oh, you're jealous. You're sick, huh?" Two weeks. If you hating on my thing, imagine you could put really put a person down for two weeks because they's hating on you. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah, I like this beat. I remember this one. Ready for the show. show. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Netholeman.com. Okay. Yes. Chat that shit. Oh. You niggas need to find me, cuz. Dopeman.com. Dope, man. Dope, man. Hey. Whose fucking song was that back in the day? I want to say it's 50 Cent. It's 50 Cent, I think, had the. It was 50 Lil Wayne. There's one of them two niggas that had this, the sad was just a bunch of kids screaming, dope man, dope man. Or it could be a dip set record, and I just can't remember. It's one of them three. Now that I've heard this multiple times, this is like certain lines are just even funnier. Well, not multiple. Technically, it's multiple, but I haven't heard it actually like multiple in the euphemistic sense, more so like the literal sense. So, my voice even bewitches your girlfriend, and it turns people on. This is not very similar, but in my brain, it's just the cavalier nature of just telling a motherfucker like, yo, your bird? 
she like my ting and the way it spin. I'm doing big bits out here. And it just reminds me of our little nigga Anno. So Anno's an artist that we have at Culture Clan. And I, re- I, I play the song. I'm going to do a video of just some songs I did like over the past week because like, we're doing a lot of work since we've come back from Berlin. So he asked me how to write a song and like how I write a song. So I walked him through like what my process would be like if we just got a beat off of YouTube. So in doing that, he just seems to, when he writes his verse on these songs and I listen to them later, he seems to always be having conversations with other men's women and then tell them like about that conversation to like shit on the guy. And I just find it so hilarious. Cause like, who the fuck are you? Cause in Plastic Pounds, he's like, don't invite me to your party. Cause I'm going to flex on your shardy. And guess what? Check this out. She has told me that she doesn't like how it is going. And I just find this, scenario hilarious so when i see this from sugar talking about oh my voice bewitches your girlfriend i'm just like when did you start talking to her why is she even hearing you like this scenario that they've built in their heads is rappers like oh yeah the dude i'm shitting on right now his girl she listens to my thing and i just find this hilarious because as rappers we do this a lot but there's only certain ones that i find hilarious so like sugar's one anno's one there's other people that i do here but i just find it so funny because i'm just like it's such a braggadocious way to be like yo your girl likes me <laughs> but it's so long when you think about it i'm sorry for this this rant on i guess shitting on men to take their women and rap songs but i just find it a hilarious topic it's it's so hilarious to me i'm the moon if i'm the slant you're the moon because when i rise you fall that's a good one that's a good one <laughs> What is the cultural significance to tell a nigga to go to Hawaii? Because going, what's it called? Was it, I'll take you to Hong Kong with my tongue technology. That's a cold one. So what does telling a nigga go to Hawaii mean? Boys cooking. Boys cooking. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's get Supreme Boy Trek. Yeah. What's lit in that bitch? God damn. Okay. It's lit in a motherfucker. God damn it. Let's get Supreme Boy Trek. Yeah. <laughs> what you gonna do? I like that until he call it a beat smoke, but it's it's what he's doing. He is smoking the beat, but I just feel like it takes away because I feel like the tone he had is like, yo, you like smoking, cool. Hold on, where's the where's the bar? Hold on. Hold on. When when some people smoke and some people cheat, I smoke beats. This is a beat smoke. I'm just like, should have just left it. At, I smoke beats and then just transitioned into something else. Cause I'm just like ah, calling it a beat smoke. I'm just like ah, and take away from it. Cause you was really shitting on niggas. Like ah, oh, you niggas smoking, you niggas cheating. I smoke beats, nigga. Fuck with me. Hey, 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 
Smoke, who don't make fools you praise? Who the fell I told you Christ? Put it in your lace. Kimmel do the hip hop on the nose with a pack with us. Grab my mind, I'm general. Too many generals. Such a good doctor, you did that I got you. It's not wrong. Rap once once you know how to do it well, it does become very fucking easy. And that's why a lot of at least rappers or myself, like I instantly tried to branch out to other genres because I'm like, this shit too easy. I smoke one of you little niggas playing with me. Like it's not like it's not like it's up for you if you fucking with me on a record. However, Doing all the other genres of music, that's what I'm like. Oh, I'm challenged now. Like, how do you do this? How do they do that? But when it comes to rap, once you, at least for me, I felt it became very easy to do the things that I hear other rappers do because it's just a it's a technique to learn. Outside of those guys, like with crazy voices, like with Pop Smoke and that, like because you can't learn to have a crazy voice. You either got it or you don't. But like the technical precision of how they do like rhymes or like how their songs are structured, you can learn that shit. You can learn that shit. But in the other genres, I just like I don't feel like it's just that easy. I really don't. I'm not a general, too many generals, such a good doctor, you did that I got you to Who's in first, how do you do that? 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 Who's in first, how do that's a fucking crazy bar I'm not Buddha but I'm a butcher I shave your flesh that's a good one that's a good one she don't need you, I play more Now roll me yoga, now she don't And you know I can take it more So I'm going to show low Pada doody, now do the body do Set the body to stop the low And so we won Hey, you do to my train You got no problem, I kill And who's the ring and they go me I'm not proud, yeah, it's a deal But that I'll kill You can't control my shit Push in the time and then fit the jacket And touch the door to my train Won't kill me I like the energy on that one, and I like a lot of the individual lines. Is this love supposed to be meant ironically? Because all I can think in my head is I don't give a fuck how a play ahead of feel. I don't give a goddamn. They should actually go fuck themselves. And then it makes me think, is this supposed to be an ironic, like, go love yourself? Like, um... Like how, uh, yeah, keep your, yeah, keep yourself safe. Yeah, keep yourself safe. Yeah, keep yourself safe is supposed to be like an ironic way for like the internet neeks to be like, oh yeah, like, like kill yourself. But like you can't report a person for telling you to keep yourself safe. But I can tell you keep yourself safe. And that's just what it is. But like somebody's actually telling you to go kill yourself. So is this love supposed to be meant ironically? Like go fuck yourself. Cause I've like, Fuck a player hater Backbiting ass bitch I hate you You guys ruined so many good things You and the capitalistic Fucking greedy cunts in the world Are the reason why the world is a shit place There's always a player hater And there's always some greedy cunt That's always like Ah oh, but you can make more And that's why the world is fucked In my purview There's a bunch of other problems But if we didn't have these two people Or types of personalities in the world The world would be a lot better place Oh yeah. Sound like a big Sean beat. Boy, 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 boy. Sean down. <laughs> it sounds like he says air. Hello, hello. Sorry, babe. Bottom, bottom. Sorry, babe. 
Texture, texture, texture. What? Sorry, babe. Oh, face, not a, I don't know. What? Sorry, babe. Some shiggle with the stuff. I sorry, babe. Ah. No, I'm all going to die this stuff. I sorry, babe. Ah. Buy some help me die. I sorry, babe. Hold me with say what? I think, I think, I don't. Sorry, babe. Shiggle nigga, nan, and suck, babe. No, go, God. The production on this song does not make it sound like a trap song. But the flow is such a trap flow. It's such a trap flow. And it's one of the lazier trap flows. And not in a bad way. Just lazy just meaning slow. Like it's man walked down the stage and just said diction three times and apologized. Pronunciation. Apology. I'm on TV. Apology. Like I get the context of how we're using all of these. But I'm just like this nigga really flexing on folks right now. Really shitting on niggas. Ah, oh, that nigga said, nigga, I said that you don't know me. That's what it sounds like he says. I know that's not what he's saying, but it sounds like, nigga, I said that you don't know me. Nigga, now. Oh, it's uh, another, it's a nigga after a nigga. Yes. Another one I said, I should be clocked. Yeah. Nigga, now, shit, do you know me? No, what? Man. Nigga, now, shit, do you know me? No, bitch. More pretty, but I act. I'll run it back. Rewind that bitch. Put a pipe, turn it to a one. Another one I said, I should be clocked. Nigga, now, shit, do you know me? No, man. Nigga, now, shit, do you know me? No, man. <laughs> Nigga, I said that you don't know me. Oh, fuck. Damn it. God damn it. The Marcus, you knew what you was doing in that, in those two bars. Now, I should have you know me. Hey, this is such a positive self-love song. At least once we get to this part of the song, it's like, if I was feeling bad, but this was your vibe, you're probably gonna be in the house going fucking ham. Just I love, I love myself. I know, I know, I know myself. Shop, play your haters, just to love yourself. I wanna be down for time, time, time. They won't. Shut your mouth, man. Spotlight, light, light. Oh my God. Oh, you wanna be my life? Wanna be, wanna be, wanna be. Bang, bang. Come to the number, the tongue, I'll bash. No, hey. Two, 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 two. Yo, yeah. That's hard, that's hard. Yeah, this this part right here, what after the hires, after the three hires, it sounds like a key tape song again. I would like to uh, Do I have to? I think I have to So you guys can understand What I'm about to say I got it Alright so after here Bro could cut, cut his verse He could cut his verse And it Numerically would be perfectly In time for the I love yourself shit But 
it just don't feel right. So I think he rapped for like another 12 to make it really be like, ah, now it's time for the fucking hook to come in. Because as I'm hearing it the just a moment ago, I'm like, he just decided to rap over the, like the I, I love myself section. And then they bring in the I love myself section after. And I'm like, oh, that nigga just had extra bars. Uh, see, like right here, it, you could say that I love myself shit. But he finds another bag and switches his flow one more time. And then we get the hood. Did I read that right? It the fuck is a crow tit? What is a crow tit? Call me a crow tit. I don't know if I want to be called that, my sir. This is just a day full of niggas. I love it. I was watching Mama Moo and I got a nigga. I watched this and I got a, multiple niggas for my nigga RM and I got a nigga from fucking this nigga sugar. Oh, it's just oh, it's a, oh, it's, what is it a concophony? Damn, yeah, concophony of niggas today. This is beautiful. Yeah, nigga, hey, yeah. It would be tight as fuck if the nigga, like, he didn't have a Rolex on the time. Like, at the time of him looking at it, it was some other watch. But he still has a Rolex. It would be even funnier to me. Because I love when rappers put the watch that they have in the song, but then they have the wrong watch for the song on at that time. I always find it funny, especially if the watch exceeds the price number of the watch that they rapped about at the time. Because then it's just hilarious. Because it's like, damn, nigga probably do got a Rolex. You niggas need to leave my boy alone. I love, I love, I love myself, bitch. I love, I love, I love myself, bitch. No, no, no. Yeah, that nigga, I hope he off the crowd. I love, I love, I love myself. nigga hit the John Cena. Can't see me, nigga. It's got to be ironic. It has to be an ironic love. I need it to be. I need it to be. <laughs> Fuck them niggas. Never like to play a hitter. Never. Never. But overall, though, and this was fun. I know you guys probably, well, I hope that at this point, if you're watching my reactions, actually going to be like 60% commentary. But I am listening to the music like earnestly but it's gonna be primarily commentary because i'm just i'm just listening to the song and i'm breaking it down as my brain just like translates it from what i can read and i'm just it's a lot of shit i think about or feel like i have to say and i'd be saying this without even doing just a reaction like i would just be in my house talking to the tv like what the fuck did these niggas just say or i'd be just busting up laughing so i'm very sorry if people was like oh i'm gonna watch the the cypher medley and like we was gonna like watch it watch it like 
I think we're going to do that. Like with Hobie Palooza and stuff like that that I'll be doing, I'll be watching those because at that point it's not to break the song down. Like I might say something about stage performances or stuff like that or like about the crowd. But overall, it's not about like what the song is about. But like when I watch these, it's still about the song. It's like it's part of the performance. Like if I notice anything performance nature that is important, but like the shit them niggas is saying is what I'm like still focused on. But like watching somebody set like from like Hobie Palooza or something like that, I feel like it's supposed to be like watched a little bit more and I might have less to say, but like when I see these I'm just like, Oh man. So, did you hear what this nigga said? That shit is hilarious to me. Oh man. So nigga, I told you you don't know me. Tell them niggas, RM. Let them niggas know they don't know you, goddammit. it. Them niggas don't know you. Uh, there, yeah, sugars, nigga. That shit was hilarious. Ah, I've been spoiled today. I've been spoiled. It's been good though. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for me on this one. Thank you guys very much for joining me. If you could please hit that like, subscribe. Patreon's in the description. I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace.